say, obviously, we were uh, extraordinarily relieved to find out that uh, these two young men were safe uh, in American hands. Uh, as the Pentagon indicated, uh, this appears to have been a malfunction uh, in the aircraft. And it is a testament to our military that uh, we had fully prepared for any contingency, including something like this, and they were able to recover uh, these individuals rapidly. Uh, and in fact, uh, as part of the planning effort leading up to this, I specifically had discussions with uh, Admiral Mullen and other uh, of our military personnel to make sure that we had uh, the kind of standard uh, recovery efforts uh, in place because there are risks involved. Uh, and on the day that I indicated that this was a possibility, and then on the day that I indicated that we, in fact, were moving forward, uh, I said that there is no military operation that does not entail risk. Uh, and that's why this is always uh, the most difficult uh, decision that I make uh, as Commander-in-Chief and as President of the United States. Now, uh, I have absolutely no doubt that we will be able to transfer uh, control of this operation uh, to an international coalition. Uh, I had discussions with uh, Prime Minister Cameron uh, and President Sarkozy today. In fact, uh, NATO is meeting today as we speak to work out some of the mechanisms for command and control. Uh, I would expect that uh, over the next several days, we will have clarity and a meeting of the minds of all those who are participating in the process. Uh, we're already seeing a significant reduction in the number of U.S. planes that are involved in operations over Libya. Uh, because, as I said initially, uh, our job was to uh, take our unique capabilities and create a space to shape the environment so that the operation of the no-fly zone uh, could operate effectively and to make sure that uh, our immediate humanitarian goals uh, could be met. And I just want to emphasize to the American people because of the extraordinary capabilities and valor of our men and women in uniform, we have already saved lives. In Benghazi, a city of 700,000 people, you had the prospect of Gaddafi's forces carrying out his orders to show no mercy. That could have resulted in catastrophe in that town. Gaddafi's forces had pulled back because of this timely intervention. And you know, obviously, there are always risks involved in this kind of operation. But for us to be able to structure something where we bring our unique capabilities to bear to fulfill a mission that is supported by the international community against somebody who was about to direct his armed forces against his people in the most vicious of ways uh, is something that I think the American people and certainly our American military uh, should be proud of. I said at the outset that this was going to be a matter of days and not weeks. Uh, and there's nothing uh, based on how uh, we've been able to execute over the last several days uh, that uh, changes that assessment.